I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is June 8, 2020, and in this video I'll be going over how to measure pitch, the slope. This summer I'm doing some landscaping, so I have a bare backyard just dirt. So I'm putting some French drains and a few other things in right now. So with that, I need to make sure that the slope is correct in those drains so that everything slopes away from my house where it needs to the low point and exits my property properly. So with that, I need to know the slope or what you might call, sometimes you know, they call the pitch. So before I get into that and show you, I just want to show you a couple of other videos that are talking about this that might be better, better, than, better suited to watch than me, or you might find some more details. So there's a cheap method to measure grade, and I'll put a link in the show notes to this one. And there's how to measure slope for under $5 to must watch. Now the first part of this is really good, so I'd, I'd advise watching that too. And again, the link's in the show notes. Now what I'm, I also want to show you some of the things I'll be using uh, in this demonstration. One is I have Mason's line. And the only thing about Mason's line is Mason's line uh, will keep taut really well and it won't sag. So that's why it's versus just strength. So there's Mason's line, cheap, easy to pick up. Uh, also, I'll be using these line levels that you attach on there. And lastly, I'll be, I just have a, uh, I have a level here that happens to have a pitch on it. So that's what I'll be doing. So with that, let's go over it. Okay, first before we dive into it, I want to talk about the difference between angle and pitch and why even bother with it. So a lot of us who may not do this all the time, you might think of angles. We all know angles. So why don't we just say one degree angle and get be done with it? Because we could we could do that or two degrees. Because we could we could figure out the calculations. And the problem with that is you gotta do the calculations. So with something like this, and for this, you know, I'm doing um, irrigation in the backyard and drainage, we have this one eighth pitch, one quarter pitch, and et cetera. And what that means is like one eighth pitch says, hey, over a foot of distance. I go down an eighth of an inch. And so it makes my calculations easier. So for example, this board, that I'm gonna use an example, is eight feet long. And if I wanna do an eighth of an inch pitch, eight times one eighth is one inch. So if I want a one eighth pitch, I need to go one inch down over the length of this. Or if I wanna do a one quarter pitch, times it times eight, I want to do two inches. So it's just easier to do the calculations if you're in the field or you, you know, versus trying to say an angle. So they use pitch, they don't use angle. So with that, here's my board and here's the tools. So right now we can see my board is nice and, uh, you know, level. nice and level, <laughs> nice and level. We're level here and here we can see just normal level. And then over here we can see this pitch and we can see it says it's at the zero mark, which means we're level. Then also over here we have uh, the pitch too, and you can see over here it's at that zero mark and it means it's level. So what I have done for this example is I have a couple of things over here, which are, if I can put them together here. Let's see, so I got this. Oop. Grab that one first. Did I get them mixed up now? I did. All right. I know, it messed me up. So here, these two are about an inch. So I'm gonna use this and prop this up, and that should give me an eighth of an inch pitch. So when I do that, let me go revisit these guys now. Now we'll see that bubble here is at that first line, and that's the eighth inch pitch. And the same here, and we can see, and in fact, you can see on this guy, it says one eighth and it's easy to read. So now we're at one eighth pitch. Now also I can raise up again, let me make sure I got the right ones here because I got a little mixed up. Oh, that's a little bit. There we go. So now if we do this, this should double it, so it should be at a quarter inch. And there we go, we're at the next line, the quarter inch, right there. And over here, same thing, we're at a quarter inch. So there's our pitch. Now, the next thing I want to show is how to use these guys when we want to do the line, use the string. So it's kind of difficult. I mean, I'll probably go out there with some two by fours in some cases to kind of measure the pitch in an area. But I got some areas that are 30, 40, 50 feet long. It becomes too cumbersome or difficult to try to get a board that's gonna do that very well. So we have this Mason's line, which I showed earlier. So there's Mason's line. And the main thing about it is when you pull it tight, it doesn't sag as much as other string. That's the only thing to it. No, otherwise, no, not a real big deal. And so what I have here is simulating what you would do out in the field. So imagine this top of this board is your ground. And these nails represent stakes. 
Now in this case, both these nails, I measured them so the top of them is, are exactly the same on each side. Now when you're in the field, you can't do that very well, but if you put two stakes in the ground, what you're wanting to do is you want to go attach the mason string at one side. Let's say it's two feet, whatever you choose to do. But if you choose two feet and you want to measure the pitch, you need to go to the next uh, stake and also attach the mason string at two feet. They need to be the same distance off the ground, otherwise you're not going to get the pitch. So here I'll take this and I'll pull it real tight as much as I can and get it there at the top and I'll wrap it around a couple of times to hold. Okay, well, no, it's not going to hold. You were working a second ago. We'll just go crazy on the wraps. Okay, there we go. So now we're flat. So in theory, this should measure flat. So if I take this level, and it's got these little hooks on here, so I can just attach on one side, attach on another, and we should see, look, we're, we're level. Then I do the same thing with this guy. And we can see, after it stops jiggling, we're kind of at the zero. Now again, if I go up one inch over eight feet, we should see now, there we are, we're at one eighth all those jiggling around. And then if I do the next one, it should be at one quarter. It stops jiggling around. There we go. So there's the idea behind the mason's line. You can stretch it out as far as you want and attach it to stakes, but wherever you attach it, they need to be the same distance off the ground. Otherwise, this is, there's no point to this. See, because I can come over here, and I could just move this to the bottom I gotta unwrap it. So I can, you know, now this is meaningless, you know. Now it doesn't it doesn't help me at all because it's at a different it's a different level, and so you'll see a total different pitch. Or if I do this, it's a total they don't you know, you need this to be like, even with the at the same level. Okay, now but the next thing you need to think about is as you as you do something like this, and I'm not uh, drainage expert, but I'm sure there's lots of YouTube videos on this subject, and I'm watching a lot of it myself right now because I'm working on it in my backyard. Um, just because you figured out what the level is from here to here, you could have dug, you could have a pit in here, you could have a low point in the center. So you want to go back and use some kind of tool, like maybe you could use a 2 by 4 or something, and measure from the string to the ground and make sure that the ground is pretty even the whole way. Otherwise, you could have a divot and that's where water would go and we want to make sure it all flows out. Or in this case, I guess, flow that way. But anyway, that's how you use these tools. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.